Hello everyone, JSGC here, and we're here for another Manchester City transfer update. Talk about all the ins and outs at Manchester City. So like always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you slap a like on this video, press the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you're new around here, press the red button, uh, and subscribe and press the bell and put your push notifications on. Make sure you go and check out my social media if you so wish, my Twitter and Instagram. You can find links to them in description below and popping up on screen too. And also make sure you let me know your thoughts in the comments below. So we're going to crack on with the ins and we'll go over talking about a signing that Manchester City have made but it just isn't official yet and it comes in the form of a player we were speaking about yesterday Morgan Rogers. he's set for a medical according to the Sun yesterday after Manchester City agreed a compensation package which they claimed was eight million pounds extremely expensive for a player that's never played a professional game in his life but he is a hot prospect born in the west midlands will be homegrown for manchester city once he's gone through our youth academy and he'd be the most expensive 16 year old signing since arsenal signed fia walcott which i think if memory serves me right was southampton if i'm wrong with that just let me know in the comments below Anyway, the Manchester Evening News made comments on this saying that the sum weren't right with an £8 million fee. They were saying actually it was £4 million with add-ons rising that fee up, but it won't be anywhere near as high as £8 million pounds now the telegraph were reporting they said that actually morgan rogers has already had his medical he had it yesterday he's not set for a medical it's already been done the deal is done it's been signed and sealed city literally just waiting until morgan rogers 17th birthday where he can sign a new professional deal which falls handy for us on july 26 of this year apparently chicky's overseen this transfer rates him highly city want this deal done Apparently already been done. Plays for England's under 17s to Morgan Rogers, and he set was set to have pre-season with West Brom. Instead, uh, with interest from Manchester City, they decided not to go and have pre-season with West Brom with all their first team squad, but to go and speak to City. And it seems City are going to get this deal over the line. So absolutely fantastic news. Just wanted to welcome Morgan Rogers to Manchester City's uh, academy. He'll be going into City's academy, and who knows, two three seasons time, he might be doing pre-season with Manchester City. Who knows what the future holds? So best of luck to Morgan, and welcome to Manchester. Now. Next up, in response to uh, Aro Muric, who's officially left to join Nottingham Forest that we reported on yesterday, City now need a new third-choice goalkeeper, which was apparently meant to come in the form of AC Arisco. Now, he's already left a bar. He's now a free contract. Manchester City were expected to sign um, Rysko on a one-year deal with the view of him then becoming a Manchester City coach at the end of this deal, once he decides to retire and hang up his boots, he was going to become a coach at Manchester City. But it was been reported yesterday in Spain that Abar's actually offered him a new one-year deal. And so if he does decide to sign that and not join Manchester City, what we're going to do for a third-choice keeper with Murich leaving? Now, it just leaves an option. We've got, uh, we've, we've got a bit of a problem with homegrown players and bringing in non-homegrown players. I've already done a video on that. I'll have that out in the next 24 hours explaining in full detail about homegrown and non-homegrown players but situation is at this moment in time is City now need a new third choice goalkeeper we've already got already made Daniel Grimshaw homegrown player from Manchester City's academy too wouldn't it make sense just to promote him and let him learn from Bravo and Edison two very good goalkeepers and see where he lies from there puts him in good stead also if he wants to leave Manchester City for a loan move like Murich has then surely it'd make sense doing that uh, I'm not too sure but bringing in a non-homegrown player for a third choice keeper Will he be registered? I'm not too sure. So we'll keep an eye on that developing transfer. And we'll move on to the next story. It comes in the form of Anthony. We spoke about him previously. He's just called Anthony, by the way. I think he's, uh, I think, uh, I'm 85% sure that he is Brazilian, but he's coming from Sao Paulo anyway. So I'll, I'll presume that he is Brazilian with a cool name like just Anthony. But uh, absolutely fantastic. A-N-T-O-N-Y as well. So not Anthony. Anthony. <laughs> but... Apparently, he's valued at 50 million euro and City were looking into the possibility of us signing him and then immediately loaning him to Sporting Lisbon as per the new partnership that City and Sporting Lisbon have got. But apparently City are having reserves over spending so much, player, uh, so much money on a player to then just loan him out to another club. Uh, and to me, personally, sounds incredibly unrealistic, this transfer, because, uh, but apparently it was being reported City were looking into ways of making it happen. I just don't see how it could be financially viable for City. 
For example, we have spent before previously like five, ten million pound on players like Marlos Moreno, where the career hasn't just worked out, loaned here, there, and everywhere. To bring in a player that's never played in Europe, bit of a risky move, loaning him out. If he does, has a bad loan to sport in Lisbon, picks up an injury, or anything can happen. By the way, lots of bad loan moves happen all the time. That spending forty plus million pounds on a player makes it a very expensive player that just might not be good enough. Now, if you used to tell me it was five to ten million pounds. Even though that's a lot of money, I'd say, okay, maybe, I can believe that. But as high as 50 million euro, which is roughly around 44, 45 million pounds, I think this is completely unrealistic. But we'll keep an eye on the transfer anyway. Now, we'll move on to another young player that City are chasing. Comes in the form of Felix Corrier, uh, coming in from Sporting Lisbon. Another player, part as per this partnership. Apparently, 7 million euro fee. We already know this, but apparently details of this deal have been reported as half being paid now and half being paid as a guarantee once one of two things has happened. Either once Sporting Lisbon signed a player from Manchester City, so, for example, not saying it might happen, but, for example, if they was to sign Mangala, then City would send them another £3.5 million pound for this deal as part of that agreement, or... Uh, Manchester City might well uh, look for a cooperation with uh, players coming into Sporting Lisbon. So what I mean by that is if Sporting Lisbon want to sign a player um, and they'll want contributions towards that and so help from Manchester City will come in the form of this extra three and a half million euro. But of course, Sporting Lisbon going through financial difficulties at the moment. That is why this partnership is in place. Of course, as per this partnership, City get first dibs on Sporting Lisbon's academy players, including Felix Corrier, and so it seems he may well become a Manchester City player sooner rather than later. I imagine he'll probably go into our academy too. Now, new player this one comes in the form of a Romanian player that I've never heard of called Ionis Hagi. City apparently chasing the 20-year-old attacking midfielder from Vitoral Constanta. I have no idea. It's coming from a Romanian source, by the way, called Zier. Again, I don't know who they are, so I don't know how uh, reliable this source is, though. But they're saying City want to bring in Ionis Hagi and then loan him to Girona. Of course, City have done signings like this before where we bring players in. We brought Australian players in, then loan them to Melbourne City. So he might fall down there. I do not know. But City looking to maybe boost their profile in Romania. I do not know, but we'll keep an eye on that transfer. It's a strange one, this one, isn't it? Strange uh, little update, but there we go. We'll move on to the outs now. We'll speak about Nicholas Otamendi. Now, apparently, he's not leaving Manchester City this summer. Atletico Madrid have already, according to Mundo Deportivo, signed a new player, brought in a player called Reynan Lodi from Atletico Paranese. I'm being really tested here with my pronunciation of these clubs I've never heard of. But uh, I've no idea who he is. But apparently Mundo Deportivo is saying that he'll be going into Atletico Madrid squad. So they don't need to sign Nicolas Otamendi anymore. To be honest, I wasn't expecting Otamendi to leave. Once a new company were leaving, I didn't think that uh, Otamendi would be leaving too. So uh, we've got three senior centre-backs at this moment in time. Will City add another? We'll have to wait and see. Make sure you stay tuned, stay tuned to my daily transfer updates. And we'll bring more developments on them, I am sure throughout the next few weeks now next up we've got a Leroy Sane update people were talking about it in the comments yesterday about Leroy Sane the values for Sane and stuff like that now Bayern president's been speaking this comes Bayern president by the way is called Karl Heinz Rummenig I'm not too sure how you say his name, but Karl Heinz Rummenigge, we'll, we'll go with that. Uh, he's been speaking about Leroy Sane once again. He said he's been waiting for Leroy Sane to come back from the holiday, which he now has done, obviously, joining up with Manchester City for pre-season. So he says he wants to speak with Leroy Sane to see if they can thrash out a deal with City to try and sign him, which, yeah... Really frustrating this one. I've not liked how he's conducted himself, and by he I mean Bayern's president. I've not don't like how Bayern Munich's conducted themselves throughout all of this little transfer saga that's gone on, bigging up Leroy Sane, basically tapping him up and everything like that. I don't like how everything's been conducted. It's incredibly unprofessional in my opinion. Uh, but if I were City, I wouldn't go down to that level, but I would release a statement saying that Leroy Sane isn't for sale and he's staying at Manchester City. They could put that out there. That ends all of the doubt there. Or they could just Nick pay up. Or shut up, basically. Um, but City, they're wanting a lot of money for uh, for uh, Leroy Sane, which I'm almost certain Bayern Munich just won't pay. So why they're still talking about him trying to unsettle Leroy Sane, I do not know. But they're chasing news of man Dembele too. They're just trying to pick up players for cheap and they're wanting the players to force the move. And rather than just asking the player to force the move, the player's saying no, it's just been going on. And I feel like City could do a little bit more. I feel like Leroy Sane could do a little bit more. But hopefully we'll have this situation resolved soon because obviously the easiest way to end this saga is Leroy Sane coming out and saying he's staying 
staying at Manchester City and proving it by signing a new contract, which of course is already on offer to him. Now we'll move on to the next story, comes in the form of Zach Stefan, uh, coming in obviously from Columbus Crew from the United States of America, City signed him a few months back, uh, but City are looking to see what they could do with his future, because I don't think they can get him on a work permit to play in the United Kingdom at this moment in time, so he's been loaned instead, obviously Fortuna Dusseldorf's been chasing him for a little while now, and they confirmed yesterday that they have indeed now signed Zach Stefan on loan for the season, go to a competitive league in the Bundesliga in Germany, be interesting to track his pro Progress. He could come back and could well challenge if Claudio Bravo decides to leave to be Manchester City's backup goalkeeper to Edison. So we'll have to see how he gets on there. But best of luck to Zach and uh, hope he goes and has a great loan spell over in Germany. And speaking of loans and loan spells, takes us nicely onto our last transfer update with Philip Sandler, who seems to have confirmed his move to Anderlecht on Twitter by this morning, tweeting how it isn't a farewell, but it's just a short pause in his Manchester City career. Uh, as we just need the clubs now, City and uh, Anderlecht, to confirm the transfer. But it seems like now, with Philip Sandler actually saying it himself, that he has indeed joined Anderlecht on loan for the rest of the season. So, best of luck to Philip. Hope he goes and smashes it in Belgium. And hopefully, if he has a good spell over there with Vincent Company, that he can come back and uh, compete for Manchester City's first team squad as of next season so there we go that has been the video hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video make sure you leave a thumbs up so i know that you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe if you're new around here press the red button press and subscribe and press the bell and put your push notifications on we're aiming for 5,000 subscribers i'm hoping to hit that uh, possibly by the end of the transfer window once that slams shut so any help towards that would be much appreciated if you're interested you can go check out my social media links my twitter and instagram which you can find in description below and popping up on screen too if you want to go and follow me on there then that would be much appreciated and also let me know your thoughts in the comments below so i'll see you all again tomorrow for the next daily transfer update and i reckon in the next 24 hours or so i'll have that homegrown video out too explaining man city's homegrown situation uh, and uh, going into detail with that it has been requested so i will do that video and that will be out very soon so stay tuned for that one so i'll see you all again very soon so it's been jsgc hope we'll have a wonderful rest of your day see you tomorrow peace ciao for now